Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So I'm very excited to announce our very first motion graphics pack, which is called the Motion Graphics Starter Pack. And essentially this has over 150 elements inside this pack and it primarily focuses on these accent motion graphics that allow you to enhance your work within a matter of seconds. And at its initial release, you get 125 plus accent motion graphics along with 20 title designs. So if you wanna learn more about our first pack, you can go ahead and check our links in the description. But I wanna show you how you can use this pack to your advantage to help increase the quality of work, get work done a lot quicker, and ultimately help you grow your portfolio with our starter motion graphics pack. All right, so when the file is downloaded, there'll be one folder in here called One Projects, and you can open this up, and there's two project files. One is for CS6, and the other one is for CC2019. But you can just bring in CC2019 if you're all the way up to date, and you just drag it into the project window of your current After Effects project. You know, perhaps you're doing an explainer video, maybe you're just doing some titles for your video. You can bring this into any After Effects you know, project file without a problem by dragging in there. The project will be added into a folder into your project window. You can open up this, and everything is nicely organized and now you'll be able to have access to all the motion graphics and the titles in here. So perhaps I'm working on this title animation here and you can see it's a pretty nice but it's not as fun and entertaining. So we can easily spruce this up with our motion graphics pack. Let me show you how. Perhaps we'll go into our first window which is our burst and we can of course double click on the composition and as you can see we'll be able to preview each animation very quickly since these are just very easy motion graphics inside of After Effects and we find something that, something that we like we can just bring it into our main project here drag it on top of whatever we're working on and it'll be automatically applied to this composition. Now, of course, what I suggest doing is hit S ring keyboard for scale and scale these down and move them around. And then what we can do is quickly go up to edit, duplicate, so we can duplicate these very easily. And we'll move it over here, duplicate them again. And we'll kind of just start juxtaposition these a little bit. And this will give us some detail. And then we can go here to the timeline and offset them. And within under 10 seconds, we added some nice motion graphics to the beginning of this title. And of course, if we want to change the colors of this, all we have to do is go into this composition, double click it, and there's a control layer on the top of every composition here. So let's go to the effects controls and we can easily change the colors out and adjust the scale from there if you want to, or even the stroke width, depending on the graphic. So we can come here to say the color and we can just change the color of this really easily and we can also change white if we want to go back into our main comp and now it automatically updates and that's really cool and this was just the use of one asset out of the 125 plus in this current uh release so we want to add some more perhaps we'll come here to clusters and i really love our clusters and now with our clusters added we now have a lot more motion graphics added really quick perhaps we want to add just a little bit more so we'll come here to the lines and we have some really cool you know line um compositions as well so we can quickly add this one there as well come in here and perhaps we'll use this as a background so we'll put this underneath our title and we'll quickly go change the color and then sometimes you just go to layer transform and you can flip vertical or horizontal and here's currently what we have we've enhanced this title really quick and we've added a lot more detail to this title within just like about a minute's worth of time and these graphics are motion blur ready so that means the only thing you have to do is turn it on at the top and they'll automatically have motion blur applied. So right here, you see there's motion blur, turn it off, no motion blur. And once again, here it is, and everything looks nice and clean. And just for an example, we can grab say line burst 13, bring on top of this title. And sometimes it can just be used as great openers for extra graphics for your titles. And I brought in a cluster and within just a little bit, we were able to just add a lot more detail to this title animation, just using our pack. And you can see there's an unlimited variation of what you can create. So here is a tutorial demo that I did a couple weeks ago and we can easily, you know, enhance our normal motion graphic explainer videos really quick as well. So maybe we'll come here into the shapes here and we have some really cool animation. So take a look at what we got. Perhaps we can add this circle trace and burst is really nice and subtle. And we'll just bring this into our comp like before. Here's what we have. And that looks pretty cool. Of course, we can go into that composition and go to the null and change the, you know, the color of it. So you know, that gives a pretty nice intro to that. And then we can add some more elements. So perhaps we'll come here to the explosions and I'll add, say, our circle fast explosion, which is still like a cluster. And I can change the color of this. And you see it has a lot more design to our, you know, motion graphic here at the beginning. And we can continue to flare this up. I want to take a look at our pre-made titles. So under the motion graphics folder, there's a titles folder. And we have 20 titles in here. We have uh, basically 10 title designs. Uh, with its own animation allowing you to use it however you want so we have some very clean you know title animations 
And essentially we have the title animation along with our accent motion graphics built in already for you. So you don't have to do that if you want to do that. So, you know, we have some pretty simple titles in here, but showing you our accent titles gives you an idea of how to use our accent motion graphics on your own titles and your own unique projects. So currently we only have 20 titles in the initial release of this pack and we will be adding more titles and motion graphics to this. So if you purchase the pack now, you will be able to get free updates when we do update it. And we also give you a pre-rendered download of all of these motion graphic files. So if you're working in say Premiere Pro or any other editor and you don't want to, and if you don't want to open up After Effects, you can import all the motion graphics into here as uh, QuickTime files. And we can easily bring one of these motion graphics on top of our, you know, layers inside of Premiere and we'll automatically add, you know, motion graphics to our files really quick. And these are all alpha channeled files, so you don't have to worry about uh, having a background. And if you usually want to say change the color of any of these elements in Adobe Premiere, uh, it's very easy to do that. Just go to Video Effects, go to Color Correction, and just go to Tint, and you just bring that on top of your clips and just change both these colors. And we can easily change our colors of the entire graphic right away. Of course, it's not the most optimal way to do this, but uh, it allows you to easily work with this in, say, any other video editor. And we'll eventually have an update to where these will be essential graphics inside of Adobe Premiere. So whether you're a filmmaker, a video editor, a motion graphics artist, or any type of video content creator, our motion graphics pack is going to help you enhance the quality of your work within a few seconds. And for the first 48 hours this video is up, this motion graphics pack will be 15% off. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you want to learn more about creating accent motion graphics like this, you can go ahead and check our links in the video description. We've created a handful of tutorials teaching accent motion graphics and the importance of these graphics. And if you haven't subscribed already and you want to keep up with our new tutorial content, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.